In order to clerk a hybrid auction, that is a live auction with online bidding, log into the back office area of your website and then find the gear icon next to the auction that you're working on. Click on the gear icon and then select the clerk auction function. This will take you to the clerking screen for the, the auction. On the left hand side are the items that are being sold. In the middle you have the uh, sort of processing of the bids and then on the right hand side you have messaging to the users. So we'll explore these each one by one. So the list of items in the auction on the left hand side has an option up at the top that says auto open lots. If you select this option then as soon as you sell one item the next item in the lot sequence will be up for bid. Uh, if you don't have that option turned on, then you will open each item uh, as the clerk will open each item up for bidding. Um, so uh, you'll notice that um, some of these items have a blue box that has a username. It can also have a user ID if that's how your website's set up. The, um, if they have a current bid in the system, then that will be displayed right underneath their username. Uh, and below that is their maximum bid, also known as their proxy bid. And if you press on the blue button, uh, then that's going to open the lot up with the current winning bid or high bidder uh, at their current bid. Uh, and then if you place bids on behalf of the live audience, um, then the system will automatically bid uh, on behalf of the online bidder up to that proxy amount. Um, if this is only going to display the, the blue boxes if your auction is set up to allow online bidders to place bids in advance of the live event. There's also the option to not allow that. If you don't allow bidding before the live event, then these blue boxes will not be here. And you simply open the uh, bidding at whatever the starting bid is, um, or, again, you can change this amount to whatever you want. Uh, these starting bids are determined either by the um, auction default or uh, the information entered at the item level. So these starting bids can vary uh, depending on how you, get, how you set up your auction. Uh, each item title, if you hover over it, um, you will see this little pop-up. It has the full description of the auction item and the primary lead image for that item. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up this lot at $10. I'm just going to press the open button. Now I have uh, no bids on this item uh, yet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and place a bid here uh, for the crowd of, say, $10. And, uh, and then um, if I had online bidding, and I'm going to flip the screen real quick over to a, to a, a bidder screen. Um, now this is, a, this is what it looks like from the user's end. This is the, the lot number that's up. Uh, and if they put, place a bid here, like so, it's going to say that the bid is pending while the clerk has the ability to either accept the bid by pressing right on the bid amount, the green part, or by rejecting the bid uh, by pressing this button. Um, there are configuration options that vary. Sometimes these bids will be automatically accepted um, it just depends on the system setting, but uh, by default, this is how it's set up. If you want to accept the user's bid, just press the, press the button like that, uh, and now that's the lead bidder, and you can go ahead and place another bid for the, the live audience, say. Uh, now you have a crowd bidder that's in the lead. You can actually adjust the asking price on the fly as well, either by typing in a new asking price here. For example, if the bids are going up really, really fast, uh, you can just put a new asking price in here, and that will update automatically for the users. Uh, however, you can uh, automatically, normally the, for the, the online bidders, you have an auto incrementation set up like this, uh, where um, the, the minimum bid amount is already determined. However, if the auctioneer is calling out uh, the bids, then simply change the increments here. If they're going by fives or tens or twenties, uh, you can edit this increment scale as well, just like so. Um, or just leave it alone like that. Um, so when you're getting ready to actually sell, uh, oh, by the way, uh, when a user, um, another user, a bidder, online bidder, has their mouse hovering over the bid button, um, then you'll see the number of users hovering over the bid button, and that might tell you um, 
give you some indication about whether or not you should sell the item at that time. This little gavel button right here will just send a, a little message out to everybody that this lot is about to close. Uh, and then when you're actually ready to sell, just press the big red button in the middle, just like that. Uh, if it's the online bidder, the, they will automatically be assigned. If it's a live bidder, like in this instance, just enter their paddle number, and that's that. Now that item has been sold to that paddle number. Now we're gonna move on to the next item down below. Uh, and I'm gonna open up uh, this lot by pressing on the blue button. Now uh, the user hovering stays like this because there is a, on another console a user permanently hovering over their, their bid button. Um, anyway, we up, opened this up uh, using the current bidder, um, the current high bidder, online bidder, who had placed their bid in advance of the live auction. This user has a, a proxy bid, and so any bids that are placed by uh, the crowd uh, from the live audience, like so, um, the bid is going to automatically come in like this uh, because from the based on the proxy bid. I'm not sure that was clear, but uh, this right here is the system automatically uh, submitting a bid on behalf of the online bidder because of their proxy bid. Um, and so when you're ready, if you just want to sell it to the online bidder, you'll go like that. Now the item is sold. It's pretty simple. Um, if you want to offer items up, um, for example, uh, all is a choice lot or all one bid, simply select multiple items and then the option that you, you want. So in this case, let's say uh, you want to offer all one bid, like so. Um, now it's the same thing now, you're selling multiple lots, you can tell that here. And uh, I can just say, let's say, we'll adjust the asking price like so. Um, and then we go ahead and take a bid from the, the crowd. And maybe there's no one online who is bidding, uh, so we'll send out a quick notice, it's about to close, and sell it. So we will give it another paddle number here and move on down the road. Now, uh, the other thing that we can do here is offer choice. And you'll notice that when uh, you offer all one bid or choice, the, um, the, the online bidder's bid goes away. That's because they were only bidding on the individual items here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and offer these up as choice. Uh, so in this case, uh, I'm going to switch back over to another screen here with another bidder, an online bidder, in order to place a bid. You can see here, this is what the screen looks like. Um, they can see the items that are up for bid, and um, so we'll go ahead and, and place a bid of, um, say, $5,000. Come back over here, uh, and then uh, just press the green button, like so, to sell it, or to, to accept their bid. Um, now, when I press the, the button to sell, you'll notice that there's a countdown. They have 40 seconds on this website. This is a, this is a configuration option. So the bidder has this amount of time to select their bid. So we'll switch back over here and say we want to select this lot. We'll just take them all, like so. Now, go back over to the clerking screen. We can move on to the next lot. Um, that's all there is to managing the opening and closing of bids, the processing of the bids. Uh, over here on the right-hand side, you do have the messaging. Um, so in this case, we only had one online bidder who was uh, active. Uh, so that bidder is displayed over here on the right-hand side. Um, if there were other bidders who were online, they would all be displayed here. They can send messages to the clerk, uh, and the clerk can send messages either to the entire group or to one or more select bidders. There's the option to have templates here for predefined messages, um, and then of course you can just manually type messages here, like uh, and that's all there is to clerking a hybrid online auction uh, using the auction method software platform. Thank you for watching.